the Milton real estate market is in a total meltdown. Uh, this is not a clickbait title. This is not clickbait in any way. Uh, this is just based on stats alone that just came out for the month of October. So let's get right into the stats because I think if you're going to be buying or selling in Milton anytime soon, uh, you guys need to see this stuff before you guys sign anything because sometimes it makes sense not to buy or sell. So um, let's get right into the numbers. You can see here the peak of the market was February and March, uh, just like in any other city, that was the busiest time of the year. So February and March, March had 248 sales. This is based on uh, the Toronto Real Estate Board stats. But look at this, uh, Milton has finally gone below triple digits. Um, that has not happened in a long, long time. But in October, there were only 91 homes sold in all of Milton. This includes detached homes, condos, everything in between. So only 91 homes sold, and that is a drop of 63% since the peak of the market. That is the highest I've seen. I've been covering every other city as well, but most cities are down anywhere from like 50% to 55%. That seems to be kind of the average, but Milton, shockingly, I, I was actually shocked. I thought it'd be around 50%, but it is down to 63%. Now we're gonna get into the actual numbers, but if you guys wanna know how Milton is um, broken down, uh, Detached homes make up the majority of the market in Milton. That's at well 46%. And then you get a whole bunch of freehold townhouses at 23%. And uh, semis and condo townhouses and condos are right around 10% each. Now, uh, let's get right into the prices because this is what people want to see. So what I have been doing for every other city as well, I have been doing a four-year comparison because um, last two years have been kind of all over the place. So people want to go back a little more to see how it has fared. So, um, for example, in October 2019, so this is October of uh, each year, October 2019 all the way to October 2022. So, in October 2019, you could pick up a detached house for $937,000. Then it shot up all the way to 1.4 of October last year, and it has come down quite a bit, uh, 1.26, and that is a big drop compared to last year. Um, Pretty much every single market I'm covering has gone below last year's levels, but this is a pretty big drop. Like this is almost like $200,000 below last year's prices. And freehold townhouses, which also make up a big majority of the market, they were at $645,000 last, uh, I mean, October 2019. Last year they were selling for nine fifty six, dollars and now they are selling for $912,000. I'm gonna go month by month, like what's been happening, so you guys can get a better idea what's been happening month by month. But I want to show you guys this, uh, like a four year comparison, just so you can see uh, how it has been going for the last four years. Now, uh, if you guys wanna see a breakdown by price, uh, cause I think that's also important, like which price range is doing well, which is not. Uh, if you guys wanna see that, um, the busiest price range at the peak of the market, which was like February and March, even January was pretty busy. And uh, that was the busiest price range was one million to two million dollars. I know that's a big price range, but I kind of threw everything in there by quite a bit, like uh, more than fifty percent. Like that was the busiest price range. But now, if you look over here, uh, ever since like August, September, October, the busiest price range is five hundred thousand to a million dollars. And if you look here uh, at two million plus, hardly anything is selling uh, ever since April. I would say. Very, very uh, like single digits, uh, I would say. And in October, I think there was only like three or four homes sold, uh, $2 million above. So that is what's happening by breakdown by price range. Like right now, the busiest price range is 500,000 to a million dollars. Okay, now let's get into the actual numbers like month by month. I'm gonna be covering detached homes, freehold townhouses, and condos, like condo buildings, not condo townhouses. And because they make up a pretty sizable chunk of the market so you'll get a good idea uh, after seeing this what's happening in Milton. So detached homes average prices the peak of the market for detached homes average prices was in March and uh, they were selling for 1.71 um, almost identical to February actually and now they have dropped to like I mentioned before 1.26 that is a drop of 26 percent in price uh, these are average prices and so let's look at uh, median uh, median prices for detached homes in Milton. Same thing, they have dropped, uh, for average it was 26%, for medium prices they're down 25%, and um, right now they're selling for 1.23 in October. 
Now let's look at freehold townhouses, average prices for a freehold townhouse. Uh, the highest it was selling for was in February, and they were selling for 1.18, and now they have dropped below $1 million. Uh, actually, they took a bit of a jump since uh, August, but not much, about, you know, like 20000 or so. Uh, they're selling for nine hundred to $12,000 in October. That is a drop of 23% uh, since the peak of the market, like February, March range. Okay, uh, same thing, freehold townhouse, median prices. Uh, they are also down 24%. They're selling for $890,000. They seem to be a bit more like um, consistent in terms of like up and down. Uh, average prices always tend to be a bit all over the place, but median prices tend to be a bit more stable. So they went from 895, 920, 890. So I would say like right around the $900,000 mark, you could probably pick up a decent freehold townhouse in Milton. So like I mentioned, they're down 24% since the peak of the market. Now let's look at condos average prices. Average price for a condo right now is $650,000 and that is a drop of 17% since um, February. Uh, if you can believe it, like the winter in pretty much every single city, winter was the busiest season and historically winter is always the slowest season. So the market is like upside down. So they're down 17% and uh, that is for condos average prices. And medium prices for condos, uh, like I mentioned, they tend to be a bit more stable. You can see here, like they've been hovering around six hundred fifty thousand dollars for a while, six forty, six thirty, six twenty, six twenty, six oh seven, and that makes it a drop of twenty three percent. And uh, since the peak of the market, same thing again um, in February. So before you guys make any decisions on buying and selling, please do a lot of research in Milton because. Uh, there are a few agents, not all, most agents will tell you the truth, but there are a few agents who will not share this stuff with you. So uh, yeah, be careful out there. If you guys have any questions um, about the market, you can call me or text me at this number. Thanks, see ya.